May the Lord bless his word. Read with me Matthew 27 verse 24 to 25. It talks about Pilate. Pilate was the man who had to approve the killing of Jesus Christ. A crowd of people brought Jesus Christ to be killed, but they needed approval. After assessing the wrong of Jesus Christ, Pilate did not see a wrong in him. What he did, he washed off his hands to say, let the blood of Jesus be upon you, the crowd, not on me. And the crowd responded, let the blood of Jesus be upon us and our children. They were imposing a curse upon their lives and their children using the blood of Jesus Christ. This is now becoming sensitive to me. Women of God, here are the people, the crowd. They are using the blood of Jesus Christ to curse themselves and their children. What do you have to say about this? Good morning, viewers. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I believe so far we are blessed with the word of God. On this verse that we have read in Matthew chapter 27 from verse 24 to 25. I like these people, I like this crowd when they said to Pilate, let his blood be on us and our children. Let's listen to this revelation from above. Sometimes we say things that we don't even understand. Yes, sometimes we impose cases in our lives unintentionally. But sometimes when we speak, yes, we need the mind of God to understand more. These people wanted Jesus to be killed. And if we can read in the book of Isaiah, the prophet, he prophesied about our Lord Jesus Christ that one day he will be crucified. So I believe and in understanding with the help of the Holy Spirit that God was using these people for Isaiah's prophecy to be fulfilled. They are saying, let his blood be on us and our children. I like this verse. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let the blood of Jesus be on us and our children. Is that not a curse? It sounds like a curse, but it's not. We need the blood of Jesus in our lives. Viewers, you need the blood of Jesus in your life. Amen. You need the blood of Jesus in your children's life. The blood of Jesus is there to break all the curses. The blood of Jesus is there to cleanse our sins. The blood of Jesus is there to break all the yokes. So King Pilate, when he washed his hands, he was saying, I am innocent. I've got nothing to do with Jesus Christ. I am innocent. This man is righteous. Yes, I am innocent. And then he washed his hands. He was saying, I don't want to be involved about Jesus Christ. I don't want to be involved about the issue of Jesus Christ. I am innocent by washing his hands. Yes, we understand he doesn't want to be blamed at the end of the day. He washed his hands to prove that he's innocent. But these people, they said, no, Pilate, don't worry. His blood will be on us and our children. Praise the Lord. Amen. We need the blood of Jesus in our lives. We need the blood of Jesus in our families. We need the blood of Jesus in our lives. We need the blood of Jesus to forgive our sins. We need the blood of Jesus to cleanse us. So these people, they were saying it without understanding that indeed that's where the blood of Jesus started. That's where the forgiveness started after the flow of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. So it was not a curse. They were declaring forgiveness upon their lives. 
So there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is forgiveness in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is no curses in the blood of Jesus Christ. Viewers, we thank you for the time. We don't want to leave you behind. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the blood of Jesus Christ be upon you all as you listen to this prayer. May the blood of Jesus Christ washes you clean before God in Jesus' mighty name. May the blood of Jesus be upon you, your family, your children, in Jesus' mighty name. May the blood of Jesus Christ washes your body clean. Let all the diseases sicknesses be washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ are you sick today the blood of Jesus Christ washes away all your sicknesses are you troubled today the blood of Jesus Christ is upon you every power of sickness and diseases be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ Every power of sin upon your life be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every power of darkness upon your life be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything not of God be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. The power of COVID-19 be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. The power of sickness and diseases be broken by the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for hearing us during this time of prayer. You are all free in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.